Many have shared about the positive things about Blossoms by the Park. It has great rental yield, near to Star Vista shopping mall and Bona Vista MRT interchange station, and overall good entry price. But I can't find much online content on the potential pitfalls of this project. So stay tuned to find out three potential pitfalls when buying a new launch by using Blossom by the Park as a case study. Hi everyone, I'm Kai. I help sellers and buyers unlock the best value for their properties and make the money work over time. So, if you or your friends and families are thinking of selling or buying, do reach out for our no obligation discussions, after which you can decide if we are a good fit to work together. Blossoms by the Park is located at One North, Singapore's knowledge intensive enclave, designed and master planned by world renowned Zahat Hadid Architects. Blossoms by the Park is a single block of 27 story condo, with 270 units of 1 plus study, 2 4 bedroom premium units and it is right next to One North Park. As with most things good, we still have to watch out for potential pitfalls. Let's discuss three of them. First, it is the layout of the three bedroom dual key units. Dual key units serve a few purposes. To increase rental yield. For an owner to rent out a portion of the unit for additional income without sacrificing privacy. Or to have a relative to stay together and yet not so close together. These are genuinely very good reasons to buy dual key units. But let's see how does the dual key units here compare with the other dual key units. The key selling points of a dual key unit is flexibility. But for this development, the construction method is prefabricated, pre-finished, volumetric construction. PPVC in short. And this limited its versatility. Let me explain. This is the Blossom by the Park 3 bedroom dual key layout. These walls are not hackable. So we can't really reconfigure the layout to remove the excess spare kitchen to make the unit into a proper big 3 bedroom like in the case of the three-bedroom dual key unit in eight courtyards in Yishun. This piece of dry drop partition wall can be easily removed, so that this can become a big conventional three-bedroom with very big and nice living and dining layouts. And this can be a very unique layout in this development for potential buyers. And when the owner wants to sell, they can both pitch to dual key buyers or buyers who want a bigger living space than what the other units in the condo offers. Thus, with the bigger buyer pool, we can potentially increase the selling price. Another shortcoming is more apparent when compared to the three-unit dual key unit in Gemsville in Gela. The Gemsville unit can be potentially converted to a five-bedroom co-living setup. This will increase the rent much more. Furthermore, the Blossoms by the Park layout is less flexible and with only two toilets instead of the normal three, like in the case of Gemsville. And this greatly reduces potential for getting an even higher rental. Don't get me wrong, the Blossoms three-bed dual key can still be a very good option. But the slight imperfection is that it lacks versatility. Because one of the problems with dual key unit is that it is not easy to sell in the resale market. So, having more flexibility to widen the buyer base to buyers for own stay and increase the rentability beyond just a normal dual key for investors will surely help. Before I go on to share the next two points, if what I've shared so far has been helpful, please consider to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it. The second potential pitfall is the facing. The stacks are arranged to be northwest and southeast facing. So, half the units get diagonal morning sun, half the unit gets diagonal afternoon sun, which is still fine, except for stack 6, where the developer in an attempt to make it single loading and get views for the front and back, unfortunately make it such that the unit gets the sunlight throughout the day. So, for anyone who can't take the heat from the sun, please take note. Should anyone still choose this stack? Yes but only when the selling price reflects this small shortcoming. The third point is not so much as a pitfall, but a choice to make if you can buy either the three bedroom or the two bedroom units. In the below chart, we can see that for the development with close to half the units being small one or two bedroom units, the small units are generally about 160 per square feet higher than the bigger bedroom units. However, at the current indicative price, the two bedrooms are about the same price as the three bedrooms. I would normally advise buyers to take the three bedroom units in the current market conditions. But in this case, the two bedroom units are potentially 160 per square foot undervalued. So if given a choice, I will take the two bedroom units over the three bedroom units. These are just some of the potential blind spots buyer might make. But as long as the price can justify the shortcomings to reflect any imperfections and the supply and demand mechanics, Blossoms by the Park can be potentially a profitable buy. We have all the new launches in Singapore, so if you need any information on any new launch, do reach out. Or if you need a detailed analysis on the new launch pitfalls and which you need among the many new launch options that best suit you and is the safest buy, do reach out and we can have a chat over coffee. 
Once again, I'm Kai. See you soon.